All right, guys, welcome back to the SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 alternate stories here in Season Mode. So for this next story, we're going to be playing as Mick Foley. And the only reason I'm at the character select screen here is because I want to show you what happens if you pick someone that starts on the Legends brand for your season character. So you select him, and then look at this here. It says which brand you want to select. So you choose between Raw or SmackDown where you want to start, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to be selecting Raw here because this next storyline is going to be another Raw one. So I will see you there. All right, so here we are, the next alternate story, playing as Mick Foley. Let's dive in. Framed. Here we go. Will Mick Foley have a nice day or not? I mean, that the name of the storyline is pretty straight up. It says Framed, so... <laughs> we'll see what happens, though. I should have played Snitsky, so it wasn't my fault I got framed. <laughs> From HBK to Mick Foley. Hey, Mick Foley. <laughs> There's been some rumors swirling around about the new group I just formed with Shelton Benjamin and Gregory Helms, and I just want to clear them up before your match against Shelton tonight. First of all, we are not going to be acting like a gang of punks. We're not the Lead Pipe Gang. <laughs> I understand why some people might be concerned about that, given my, shall we say, checkered past with faction, but this is a whole new deal. We're here to back each other up, period. There won't be any double-teaming shenanigans or anything like that. Second of all, we're still considering adding a fourth member. I don't want to promise anything, but just maybe your match tonight will impress me as much as some of your others have. Good luck out there. HBK. I guess Sean didn't have time to do a voiceover for that. I mean, it was a pretty long message, though. HBK, Shelton Benjamin, and Helms to unite. Raw superstar Shawn Michaels, Shelton Benjamin, and Gregory Helms have announced that they are forming a partnership, pulling their experience and skill in the hopes of improving their standing on Raw. But unlike many stables that have formed over the years, Michaels is quick to state they are not banding together with the intention of ganging up on their opponents or skirting the rules. This isn't evolution, says Michaels. It's not the NWO, it's not the Four Horsemen, and yeah, it's not D-Generation X either. I've got a lot of years in this business, and Benjamin and Helms have all the tools they need to be two of the greatest superstars the sports entertainment world has ever seen. Between my experience and their potential, we've got a lot to offer each other and the Raw fans. Shelton Benjamin is scheduled to meet Mick Foley tonight on Raw, and as proof of the faction's good intentions, he will be coming to the ring unaccompanied by Helms or Michaels. Shelton doesn't need us at ringside, says Michaels. He's a great young superstar, and I'm sure he's going to do us proud. Besides, Mick Foley is the kind of opponent you always want to learn something from, and I think we've all got a lot of respect for him. This is the most wholesome storyline ever so far. <laughs> Shawn Michaels clearing the area. He's got a new group here, but... They're not going to be exploiting the numbers game here. Not like the Lead Pipe Gang. Which is kind of funny because I was playing as Gregory Helms in that storyline. He's in this one. The so one-on-one with Shelton Benjamin. So Mick Foley. Uh, we got that high durability brother. I think my other stats are pretty average. I mean, hardcore is obviously high too. The hardcore legend, you know. But do what we can do. Ain't no stopping me, no. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. This is good old JR Jim Ross alongside the world's oldest teenager, Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And I'm very interested tonight to see how Sheldon Benjamin looks, having just announced his partnership with Shawn Michaels and Gregory Hill. I expect more big things from Sheldon from now on. You can't join a faction with Shawn Michaels and not pick up a thing or two. Well, let's not forget, Michaels was the leader of the legendary Degeneration X stable back in the day, and they caused nothing but trouble for the superstars of Raw. The heartbreak kid had promised that this is an entirely different group game. And since Benjamin is coming to the ring alone without backup, I'm inclined to believe it. Alright, Benjamin's ready to go, brother. I mean, just hearing Shawn Benjamin and Shawn Michaels in the same sentence, like, I just, just remember that match they had on Raw where, like, he spring tried to do a springboard and got hit by the sweet shit music. <laughs> that is such a legendary moment. Here we go. Mick Foley is here in season, boys. Mick Foley! So, hopefully in this storyline, my, uh, main superstar here actually has voiceover. Um, like lines because I want to hear Mick Foley's voiceover It was always cool when they had some of the legends playable in the season mode like you know like uh, in the last game We played as uh, you know like Austin Hogan stuff like that. You also select Rowdy Piper in this so Maybe I should bust him out for a storyline. I'll have to see which storyline I'd want to do that in though And then speaking of Foley and Piper, there's a uh, one uh, alternate story 
or substitution story, I guess you could call it, that I did not cover, so we'll, we'll do that one, too. Got a lot to record here. Got to keep the upload streak alive. I think, as of this recording, I think it's been 16 days straight of uploads. <laughs> How long can I keep it going, though, is the question. It's going to end eventually. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Raw. Coming to you live from Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. Right Nick Foley, Shout Benjamin, one-on-one. -on -one. Right, we got to get familiar with the Nick Foley. Oh, okay, my man. <laughs> Gotta get familiar with the Mick Foley moveset here. It's like he read his opponent's mind. And it's been reversed. You keeping your word, brother? No no double team shenanigans like Sean said? <laughs> man, JR, when I think about the kind of career Shelton Benjamin's already had, yep. I can't think of many other superstars who have become bigger successes. Right, so Foley's just laying in these strikes, brother. Benjamin's accomplishments. So I believe I have double arm DDT and mandible claw in my finishes, so. I don't remember if Mandible Claw is a real submission this game or not. Maybe. I, I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out this episode. Oh, I got the club. It's over. I've been using the club since like the early SmackDown games, brother. One of my favorite moves. <laughs> Alright, get him off me. Come off me. Who ordered the club soda? Club sandwich? <laughs> Yo, the club's too good. I'm just on the attack right now. Benjamin's getting destroyed here, man. Maybe you should have brought Sean out here for some guidance, at least. I mean, just being out here is not cheap, as long as it doesn't interfere, you know? No problem with that, I would say. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> oh, no! Fully takes a bump on the outside. Yeah. Okay, he just did the same strike twice in a row, and it actually looked nice. Alright, look <laughs> you know what? Get in the ring. I can't believe a brown kid with his potential has let a success go straight to his head like this. I'll take, take that crazy corner reversal damage, my man. You give Shelton the credit he deserves. I give him all the credit in the world, King. He's up. Oh, God, Foley's fired up. He's spent more time with the Intercontinental Empire. Yeah, I don't know if Mandible Claw is a primary or secondary finisher, so let's see. Secondary. Mandible Claw, is it a real submission? We're going to find out. Mr. Sako making an appearance. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Fake submission, aka a scam. Nah, I'm not gonna pin him just yet. But this is a really crazy run, is Mick here. That durability is coming into play. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard the guess as to win this. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, Jay? Did I control the moves? Bust out all the control moves? See what Foley's got? <laughs> Oh, I'm finally yellow. No way. I can already tell this is going to be a great match, and I don't want to ruin the ending for you. You're it's too time fine, to control the moves. Right, we're doing back. this for the bulldog here. Running power slam. Looks like they've slowed the match down a little. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for double arm DT and try to put him away here. It certainly is. I'm sure they're well acquainted with the old expression, fools rush in. Is that why you always seem to be in such a hurry, JR? I think I've eaten a little too much. Oh, he reversed it. All right, I see him, my man. I respect it. Sean probably taught you that. But did he teach you the club, though? Welcome to the club. Oh, no. Shield is out. Oh, here we go. This is a classic maneuver right here. Boss man taught me that. I lost so much momentum from that, though. Look at this, JR. Can you imagine? Right, I'm gonna go for double. I'm mashing the finisher button. No more DDT. Kyoto's getting up too. He's gonna pin him. It's over. My God. Always got like no stamina cover. Oh, I was drinking water. I almost just spit it out there. I'm surprised he kicked out. What? All right. I guess Sean chose you for a reason, my man. Ain't no stopping him. Oh, no. Benjamin <laughs> Kyoto just rang the bell. Okay, barbecue ribs helping us out here. Oh, he's going to control the moves on me now. 
No! Bye, <laughs> guy. Ask you who you want to win this matchup, JR, but it's been pretty obvious since the start of the show who you're pulling for. I'm trying to remain as objective as I can, King. I don't think the fans are Oh, no, I got too many dirty moves, and I'm cleaning the storyline right now, it looks like. So I'm losing momentum, actually. <laughs> Find something in the corner, maybe. Yep. I think it's pretty I died. I died. I like to see things from your perspective, Jay. Don't even bust out the club, my man. I'll bring the club back. And Lord knows it's been up there for so long. Welcome to the club. Oh, we dodged. Dude, that was like three missed clubs in a row. Welcome to the club, my man. I tell you, King. Sometimes I get exhausted. All right, you know what you asked for it. No, I was going for main of a claw. I've never felt so in control of a match, but unable to put it away. <laughs> like, this is bizarre. Yep. Oh, I could tap my. I'm not going. I'm not going to mash. You Gotta sure finish go, here. King. We've seen many a superstar tap out to this. Listen to the crowd, Jay. How many superstars have actually tapped out to that chin lock, though? Superstars, and if they're smart, oh, he's out. Go ahead, finish here. Without these fans, these superstars are out of I die, a job. I die, I die, I die. Animal Claw! Mr. Sock always, oh, he's getting close to the ropes, though. Do I risk the drag? He can counter the drag, though, but if I try to push him in pain. I'm gonna risk the drag. Oh, drag war. What? <laughs> yeah, I guess we're going double arm deep. No. <laughs> so in control, but unable to put it away. The Mick Foley story. I must have bumped the stick after I released the drag or something. I'm wasting all my stamina here. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. I probably just lost like 75% stamina there. No exaggeration. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. That was crazy. Welcome to the club, though. There's not an <laughs> in any WWE superstar, but the human body has Give me a second, Shelt. And they may have been I'm not full time anymore. I can't do this. this. <laughs> I don't have the stamina for this. So, JR, All right, a double arm DDT. I'm going for it. Yes, I am. <laughs> so <laughs> in control, but unable to put it away. <laughs> Like, I don't even know if Shelton's gotten a finisher himself, because, like, I'm just destroying him, but I'm just unable to put it away. Sean's probably backstage laughing about all this. Get him off me. Man, the claw! Alright, it's over. He's in the middle of the ring this time. Hand off submission cheese. Mr. Sacco! That became a two on one match. Mick Foley teams up with Mr. Sacco. There we go. Mick Foley has done it. He's back full time. Shawn Michaels, what are your thoughts on what just occurred? About Gregory Helms. I guess he's a good guy now. No more lead pipe gang for him. Yeah! Holy Kyoto. <laughs> Sorry about that headlock punch, my man. So strong. <laughs> Such a goofy win animation. What on earth? Oh, there was nothing Benjamin can do about the club, all right. Hey man, wait up a second. That right there was one hell of a match. Am I right? You know, HBK and I have been talking about our new group. And he said he's had his eye on you. And after what you just showed me in the ring, well, what do you think about joining up with us? Did I just hear that right? Is Shelton looking to add a fourth member to their new stable? And it sounds to me like Shawn Michaels has already approved the plan. Look man, you don't have to answer us right now. Take some time, think about it, and let us know by next week. 
Can you imagine him with Shelton Benjamin, Shawn Michaels, and Gregory Helms as partners, King? They'd be unstoppable. He'd have to be an idiot to turn that down. You idiot! <laughs> okay, KJ. This storyline kind of feel, feels like it's built for like a rising star, kind of like, you know, with Shelton and Helms, like playing as somebody like kind of in that kind of role, so to say. The fool is kind of weird in here, but I wanted to play as him, so. I thought when he'd say something in that cutscene, but he didn't. <laughs> Helms, Mick Foley doesn't have what it takes to join us. Okay. <laughs> Just a few short hours after Shelton Benjamin publicly extended an offer to Mick Foley to join the stable recently formed by Benjamin, Michaels, and Helms, WWE.com con contacted Helms for a statement, and his response was nothing short of shocking. Mick Foley doesn't have what it takes to join a group like the one we're putting together, says Helms. We've already got more than enough talent and experience to go around, and adding someone like Mick Foley to the mix would only water down a winning formula. I wish those guys had asked me before making the offer because I would have probably shot it down immediately. Benjamin, Michaels, and Mick Foley were not immediately available for comment. Okay. I'm a New York Times best-selling author, my man. You can reach me for a comment anytime. I'd be glad to give you a statement. Alright, so it looks like Helms is still a bad guy. Lead pipe gang. Leftovers, man. Sean, get control of this situation. Oh, we're back. <laughs> Two McFoley from Shelton Benjamin. Hey man, what's the deal? Attack her and Greg, Greg like that? <laughs> you said you beat the hell out of him. And from the way it looked when they took him out of there, I believe you. You don't just beat a guy up because he had some stuff to say about you on the internet that you don't like. <laughs> Consider last week's offer null and void. And you better stay out of Sean's way because he's mad as hell at you tonight, Shelton. All right. Hold on now. <laughs> I'm innocent. Helms attacked, injured, Mick Foley suspected. WWE.com just learned that Gregory Helms has been rushed to a local medical facility following an apparent attack by Mick Foley. Helms was heard to say that he was alone in an uh, arena locker room when Mick Foley attacked him. Helms went on to speculate that his attack came in direct retaliation for his comments made at WWE.com last week that Mick Foley was not a suitable fourth member for the faction currently composed of Helms, Benjamin, and Michaels. Mick Foley appeared completely caught off guard when contacted by WWE.com for the story and denied that he had anything to do with the assault. I have no idea what's going on, says Mick Foley. <laughs> Helms either lying or he made a mistake, but either way, I wasn't anywhere near him when it happened. Despite Mick Foley's pretensions of innocence, however, he was unable to provide an alibi for his whereabouts at the time of the attack, claiming that he was driving to the arena alone when it happened. If Mick Foley did this, then he's not the man I thought he was by a long shot, says Michaels. And not only can he consider the offer retracted, he can meet me in the ring tonight and learn the consequences of his actions. If you got a beef with one of us, you got a beef with all of us. Alright, hold on now. Surely somebody should have been there. Dude, we consider the fact that maybe Mr. Sacco took him out. Alright, Mick Foley, Shawn Michaels, here we go. <laughs> that, that message from Shelton though, you don't just go beating up a guy because he had some mean things to say about you on the internet. He's <laughs> speaking truth right there. I agree. What facts? There's no facts on his side. It's just his word against mine. <laughs> both our words are of equal value because we both don't have any witnesses. So how is his more believable than mine? <laughs> Come on now. Be reasonable here, Sean. I was doing a book signing at the time, all right? I wasn't even there. I'm not even full time anymore. The heartbreak key. Born again Sean with his new stable here. They're clean and wholesome. No shenanigans. 
Well, except for maybe Helms here. He's a little shady, it seems. Hands off the merchandise. JR's being the reasonable one here. Sean needs to calm down, alright? It's like that time he freaked out backstage and super kicked Stan. <laughs> By the way, I kind of had an idea for playing as Foley where I was going to like switch after every match between the faces of Foley, but I kind of decided against it. Just because I feel like we... if Because I don't know when or if I have voiceover in this uh, story. So like I didn't want to lose that, so... Yeah, I kind of threw that. I scrapped that idea. It would have been fun, though. I, maybe I'll leave that idea I open. I, I don't know. But then I'd have to play as fully again. I don't know. We'll see. I think it's an interesting idea. Or what I could do is just um, switch the model so it's still Mick Foley's slot, but just a different attire, so he would keep the voiceover. That's another option, too. And then just switch the entrances. I mean, they'd still announce him as Mick Foley, though, but... I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to make any promises here. Have a nice day! Oh! That's a pretty cool animation. Stop. Stop. I'm innocent. Stop! Oh, I'm surprised I reversed that. I feel like I hit that way too late. Swinging neckbreaker. Yep, chin lock, brother. The greatest move of all time. Gregory Helms is lying. He's working with the lead pipe gang still. Missed elbow. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Okay, I was trying to store, but yeah, oh well. It's alright. I'll take the damage, I guess. Man of a claw! Did Mr. Sacco jump Gregory Helms? Can we get some yellow cheese, you think? <laughs> I'm just feeding him momentum. He's gonna get momentum from kicking out of this. That would've been funny, though. I don't know if yellow cheese is possible in this game without a second controller just not hitting the buttons. I don't know. I'm teeing off. I'm teeing off on Sean here. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Okay, reversal fest. Very nice. Teeing off still. No, my momentum. Okay, it's time to control the move. Oh my god. Come on, do something quick. Hard knocks and cheap pops, that's right. <laughs> I tell you, King, sometimes I get excited. Yep, I'm gonna slow down, brother. I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible. Yeah, I think I'm gonna store this, hang on to it for a second, wait till he's orange, then try a finisher maybe. Hopefully we'll have another Shelton Benjamin incident. But I have a feeling that's gonna happen for facing Sean. Yep. I've been looking forward to this match all night, JR. I can't believe oh, it's God. This has been a Always fired up, man. Man wrongfully accused of jumping Gregory Hounds backstage. No question about that, JR. The fans certainly seem to be into it, that's for sure. And when it comes down to it, that's all that matters. 
Oh my god. I'd ask you who you want to win this match. Always gonna turn the pad, brother. Pretty obvious since the start of the show who you're pulling for. I'm trying to remain as objective as I can, Kings. Quite frankly, oh no, John's fired up now. Competitive matchup. It's personal for him. He won't even let me give my side of the story. He just wants to come at me, man. Knows you play favorites. You're always trying to kiss up to the fans by talking up whoever they're cheering for. I've never been a kiss up. All right, I want to do that where Sean flips over like that. And then follow up with a double arm DDT. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Oh my God, that'd be a sick finish. But I have a feeling he's gonna kick out. We'll try it though. Cover. Yep, HBK is still alive, folks. You can turn off I-95. Yeah, we're not complaining to the ref. We're a good guy here. At least the fans are on my side. They know I'm innocent, man. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we got him right here. I mean, he's got sweet chin music. I could bust out that sweet chin music. I could steal actually the sweet chip music. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. It's risky though. Oh god! <laughs> Just give me a second, Sean. So, how do you think this one's gonna turn out, Jr.? Okay, actually, I got the real explanation here. They claim Mick Foley jumped Gregory Hounds backstage. I think it was actually Cactus Jack. So I'm innocent here. I'm Mick Foley, man. It wasn't me. It was Cactus Jack. <laughs> Double R G D T. Cover! He's going for the pin. Mick Foley gets the win. But Sean's got loading screen advantage. Promoting an old faction now? Come on, you got your new faction here. You're done with DX. Listen, man, it was Cactus Jack, He's not me. trying to make peace for the Heartbreak Kid King. But I'm not sure Shawn Michaels is having any of it. Of course he isn't, JR. The showstopper has been around long enough to know that the minute he turns his back on someone like this, he's going to get a chair across it. Come on, Shawn. I don't think HBK is... My God! Sweet chin music from out of nowhere. Shawn Michaels saw right through his act. He wasn't going to fall for it. I hope HBK hasn't made a terrible mistake here because that's one superstar you the heartbreak kid did not listen to me, folks. <laughs> I got hit with that sweet chin music. <laughs> then he posed on me. <laughs> Who's the real bad guy here, all right? I'm going to write stuff about you in my next book, all right? Shawn Michaels is a big meanie. Arlito to Mick Foley. Hope things are over between you and Shawn Michaels because I don't want him or his pals interfering in our match tonight. And when I beat you one, two, three, don't even try to use last week's sweet chin music as the reason you lost, Carlito. Okay. Everyone's just destroying me, man. I'm taking a beating here. Mick Foley maintains innocence, wants nothing to do with HBK. Last week, Gregory Helms was allegedly attacked by Mick Foley, prompting Helms' stablemate Shawn Michaels to challenge Foley to a match on Raw. After the match, as Mick Foley apparently tried to convince Sean of his innocence and smooth things over, he received sweet chin music for his efforts. Since the attack, Mick Foley has maintained his innocence, claiming that Helms is either mistaken or lying. Now he wants nothing to do with the situation whatsoever. I tried explaining my side of the story to Shawn Michaels, but he's the high and mighty heartbreak kid. Once he's made up his mind about something, that huge ego of his won't let you even try to change it. And according to Mick Foley, his alleged involvement in Helms' attack may have been the only part of the reason Michaels attacked him. Last thing I said to HBK before getting kicked in the face was Helms' comments didn't bother me because I was going to decline their invitation anyways. Looks like someone got his feelings hurt to me. I just hope that he got all of it out of the system last week. I'll let him have that kick for free just for the sake of not having to deal with him or his stupid little club anymore. But the next time we try something like that, it's going to cost him. Ooh, Mick Foley dropping an exclusive on WWE.com that he was going to decline the invitation. Which, uh, if this storyline was actually set up where you could accept or decline, I would have declined in this situation. So, actually true. Now that's cool. Face of 
people who don't want to be cool. The following it's time is scheduled for one fall. You know what? On the way to the ring. You're joking. From the Caribbean, weighing 230 pounds, Carlito. Been uh, watching my alternate story videos. Remember, Carlito also had his own faction, the Lead Pipe Gang, which also had Gregory Helms. So, and I played as a, I played kind of heelish in that one. So, somewhat continuity here. But it's probably a completely different universe, right? Carlito's ready to go, man. Maybe I should bust out Carlito if he... I can't remember if he's select... I think he is selectable in season this, but, uh... Because, you know, he's got a win animation, which is pretty cool. I, I need to count up how many alternate stories I got left to try to plan out. Because you already know we're forcing in virtual, but, like... It's tough to choose, you know? Like, so far I've been choosing people that you normally can play as, like... Like, do I want to get truly wild and, like, bust out, like, Michael Cole or something? Which I think I did that in SmackDown vs. Raw. <laughs> On that playthrough, but we could do it again. Vince McMahon, maybe? Yeah, right, here we go. If there's no commentary, we're gonna skip. And the opponent from Long Island, New York, Mick Foley. Have a nice day! Alright, we'll skip. Skip Foley. <laughs> so we got a little bit of uh development in the story did sean truly super kick me because he's mad about the helm thing or was mcfoley right and he was just jealous that declines invitation good old jr jim ross here with jerry the king lawler welcoming you to raw live from los angeles california it's great to be JR. here in los Hope angeles california <laughs> here, get those cheap pops in while i can are you want to go to the club my man want to go to the club Ooh, okay okay Yep. There's the reversal. There's the Paul Virtual. Okay. Can I get an invitation to the Lead Pipe Gang at least? I'll bring my own Lead Pipe. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other. Body punch. Fully strikes are pretty solid, I must say. I like his punch combo too. Quick, got decent range. I'm a fan. Is a subject which you happen to be. Something yeah. Ah, dang. Right? Chin lock, my favorite move. I've done this way too many times in this, uh, this video already. I just want you guys to uh, appreciate my flannel here. Just look at that solid flannel. Ah, Well, he must not have good stamina because I feel like my stamina is depleting fast. Where to Paul Burchill? I get some more strong uh, grapples in. Nope. As long as it's not a chin lock, I'm done with them. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, Jr? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Okay, Carlito, I respect it, but man, I'm not. Uh, I'm a man possessed here. All right. I've been wrongfully accused. Sweet chin music. I'm getting disrespected. I've got no uh, voiceover lines in this video. <laughs> it's not looking good. Probably not slowing it down. Let's just call that local medical facility and get them to confirm Gregory Helms' injuries. I guess that's the real question. Did he like... Let's say like he really did set Foley up, which, you know, the name of the story is Frame. So, I mean, you can make your own judgments. But, uh... When he went to the medical facility, did he like injure himself to make it look more legit? Or did he pay them off? Or, uh, well, I need some investigations uh, going on here. Ah, uh, dirt! I think it was almost got a finisher. Ah, oh, God! I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. Excellent conditioning. Got some quick grapples. Well, that's the name of the game, Jr. You gotta keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely. It's time to control the moves. Running power slam. Listen to the crowd, Jr. I think they've got something to say to these superstars, and if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are. 
Okay, I'm also yellow here. I'm eating those reversal damages right now. I've had many opportunities to see Carlito. Oh, Carlito with the delayed grapple strats. I can respect that, all right? I'm impressed with what this kid brings to the table. What's that exactly? A bunch of half chewed apples? <laughs> What's so cool about that? I tell you what. You get invited to over to dinner at Carlito's house. It's just a bunch of apples, like apple pie, apple juice. Straight up apples. <laughs> That's all he eats, man. Apple based diet. You wake up in the morning and just eat some apple jacks. <laughs> Alright, my man. I hope we get like a hardcore, like no DQ match or something. You can store that, yep. Yep. I somehow got his legs yellow. How? I feel like I haven't been doing any leg damage. I die, I die. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right. I think this crowd I've been I've been wanting to print through the announce today, which I'm trying to do, but Carlito not cooperating, folks. Now that's not cool. Did you see that? Oh my God! Yeah, Boo this man! I agree. Yeah, I was thinking about doing the elbow, but I'm gonna go for double arm DDT. Oh no. My God, Carlito low blows all day. I'm fine. I'm fine. Always fine. I've never been accused of being cool by Carlito or anyone else, Ken. Quite frankly, I'm not sure I'd know cool if it bit me on my Oklahoma Sooner backside. All right, Foley's fired up. This is a classic matchup, King. Welcome to the club. Ready? Oh, okay. Oh my God! Reversal. I'm happy that I'm getting this. Double arm DDT! See if we can get him here. Oh my god. Nah, probably not. I'm gonna try it though. Cover! Carlito kicks out. You know what? Could just end the match, but you know what? I'm going for it again now. It's your fault, my man. Oh boy! These fans have got something on their minds, JR. Well, they paid for their tickets, King, and they've got a right to say whatever they We're want. We're it all again. Double arm DDT! My <laughs> God, fully with the message. That was for HBK. Bang, bang. <laughs> Calling for Sako, guys. I don't have a finisher, though. This is a big... This is just a fib. Carlito's a blockhead, apparently. I'm wasting all my stamina here. Oh! Now that's cool. <laughs> oh, I like it. Uh, orange cheese here. Holy, you gotta dig deep. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna get cheesed, brother, but Foley digs deep. Still in the game. Hope you're watching, Sean. Welcome to the club. No, that would have been the greatest setup ever. I gotta get another finisher now. Hey, Carlito's giving me a good match here, I must say. My God. Right, turn him around. Mandible Claw! Sako's back! Who wins in a fight, Mr. Sako or an apple? Cover! Well, That's gotta be it. My fake submission. Mick Foley hangs on. Alright, I'm getting in my car and going to that medical facility now. <laughs> I'm gonna jump him like Austin did to Vince. <laughs> Oh, not this goofy win animation again. Come on. Here's your winner. Nick Foley. Nick Foley. Foley defeats the HBK gang. Alright, I'm sorry. Sean said they're not a gang. Sean Stable and the leader of the Lead Pipe gang. So strong!
Well, it looks like we're not taking on any more recruits after all. It's going to be you, me, and the showstopper. Just the way we wanted it. And man, am I happy about that. We both joined this gig to work with Shawn Michaels and get ahead. There's only so much room under the learning tree. Me, you, and that other guy. Three's a crowd. You're telling me. I'm just glad HBK believed my backstage attack story because he was pretty set on bringing that jerk in. Yeah, I think you convinced just about everybody. Now come on, put on that neck brace. We gotta go meet up with the boss. Oh Don't no. Pop. I'm right here. Oh, hey, Sean, what's up? We were uh, just talking about. I know. I heard everything. You two are responsible for me attacking an innocent man. And why? Because I thought he'd attacked you, Greg. And you're hardly innocent yourself. But, but. Safe. I've got to go and try to make things right. And the three of us are going to have a very long talk about this later. I knew it. I knew it was a setup all along. Oh, please. You believed everything Gregory Hem said. And so did HBK. But the question remains, how can Shawn Michaels atone for his actions last week? <laughs> they got caught. <laughs> Should have locked the door, my guy. Alright, I just want to state for the record publicly, I do not accept your apology, Sean. I see on the loading screen here, I do not accept your apology. I did not want to join. I don't care. Please have dialogue, Mick. Please. I need voiceover. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, big fella. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then what are you here for, Michaels? I told you I didn't want to have anything to do with you or your crew anymore. Yeah. About my crew. Well, I think it's gonna be pretty short-lived. After that stunt they pulled with you, I broke up the band, so to speak. As a matter of fact, I'm the one who pushed for your match with Helms tonight. So you could get a little payback. Am I supposed to be grateful for that? I mean, who's to say that he's the one I want to pay back? Your footprint is still on my face. Look, I understand why you're still hot about this. And all I can say is that I'm sorry for what I did two weeks ago. I hope you accept my apology, because if you do, I wouldn't mind getting a piece of Helms and Benjamin this Sunday at Vengeance. What do you say? Are you saying you want me to team up with you after everything that's happened? Hey, we both got suckered, and we're both looking for a little revenge. Seems to be that a pay-per-view called Vengeance is the perfect place to find it, especially if it's in, oh, let's say, a steel cage. Look. I'm not asking for an answer right now. Think about it and let me know after your match. Good luck. Oh man, a steel cage match this Sunday. I don't know about you, JR, but I don't think I would trust a guy who super kicked me. I agree. <laughs> Alright, that was a good cut, Sam. Finally got some fully uh, voiceover. Yeah, I feel like this um going back if I was gonna re-record this, which I'm not because I'm this far in, I would play as like a you know, like an up-and-coming talent, like maybe like a I don't know, like it's all selectable. Kid Cash, I mean, he starts on SmackDown, but I can go over to Raw. I don't know, Kid Cash probably would've been cool for this, someone like that, you know? But, it's cool to hear fully, so I'm fine with that. I can't say I'm surprised, King, but now that Gregory Helms and Shelton Benjamin are no longer a part of a stable with HBK, I guess they're okay with bringing a little backup to the ring again. So sure enough, here's Benjamin accompanying Helms for this matchup. I think Helms is just afraid of what his opponent's gonna do to him. After all, it was Helms' little white lie that got him in the hot water with Shawn Michaels. Little white lie. He falsely accused a man of assault. He should be afraid of what his opponent has in store for him tonight. All right, the liar Gregory Helms. It's kind of funny because I remember like a shoot interview Gregory Helms did. He talked about how he never really liked Shawn Michaels, like the way he acted. No, this kind of it's kind of on brand actually <laughs> but still he falsely accused me of assault that's true let's just call the cops on him i'll win the match i'll come down and get him big boss man will come in the game and take him away this could be a sneak preview of vengeance right here and will this man accept sean michael's offer the team up against Michael's former stablemates, Gregory Helms and Sean.
gentlemen. It's hard to say, JR. I guess it all comes down to who he thinks is most responsible for what happened. Helps and Benjamin for lying to Shawn Michaels, or Michaels for believing it and laying down some sweet chin music. Well, either way, we'll find out by the end of this broadcast tonight what this man's plans are for Vince. But yeah, like the reason why I say like use like a lower, uh, like a lower card superstar for the story. It's like kind of, I feel like the kind of the theme of the storyline is you know like, like they said like under the Shawn Michaels learning tree. So like Benjamin and Helms are kind of trying to abuse it, or it's like your superstar would generally be interested. But I guess it turns out like you know they were never interested according to the article. But it's just kind of weird seeing Foley in here because like he wouldn't be in this situation, you know. But it's all right. It's a video game. We can do whatever we want here. We'll see even more Ladies wild storylines anyway. So. And welcome to another sold out raw event from Portland, Oregon. Well, it's been too long. But let's let's analyze the situation here. So these it's a matter of it's crazy. kind of two different sides now. Sean's side or these guys' side. Well, I mean Gregory Helms did lie, so it's really not Sean's fault. I mean he, Sean did overreact, so maybe I'm pushing a little too far I saying uh, I don't accept his apology, but. but it's been pretty obvious since I don't know. Fuck yeah. Get that neck brace on, Helms. This man is yellow in 20 seconds. Oh my god. Stop. Ref. Sean, help. Sean, come out. I'm gonna call The Rock. I got The Rock on speed dial. Oh, look at this guy. Delayed grapple strats. This man's smart. Did Sean teach him that? Before he broke up the band? Big moves. It's time. Oh, I was gonna control the moves, brother. My arm! It's hurting Sako right there. Welcome to club, Helms. Right, that was weird. Get him off me. Not ones that blame others for what they don't have. Headlock, yeah! Foley is definitely having a nice day in this episode, though. He hasn't lost a match. <laughs> Helms is getting absolutely destroyed here, man. I hate to see it, man. Especially about uh, after that one episode where he held his own against the Big Show. Now he's taking massive corner reversal damage. Yep. He's already red. This is this some cheese, brother. Mr. Sako! <laughs> I went to the medical facility, Helms. You weren't there. It was all a lie. Cover. Foley gets the win. That was our shortest match of the video yet. The other matches like actually kind of went on for like seven plus minutes, but Helms got absolutely destroyed there. Why is there no crowd noise? <laughs> it's not to see that cheesy win animation where he's like flexing and all that. This one's generic, but it's a little bit better, I'd say. Oh no, don't flex, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, how would you like to answer HBK's offer to team up at Vengeance? I accept Shawn Michaels' apology and I'll team up with them in a steel cage match against Helms and Benjamin. I want Michaels in a steel cage match at Vengeance. I'm going to the board of directors and getting a fatal four-way cage match against all three. Ooh. I really want to do the fatal four-way cage match. It would be the hardest. But if it's escape only, it might take forever. Ooh. A tag team match. Oh. I really want to do the fatal four-way, but I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I hope the match doesn't take six years. We'll see. I just like it because it's going to be the most unpredictable one. And you know, like I, like I said, I'm on really nobody's side here, so. Shawn Michaels overreacted. Gregory Helms lied. Shelton Benjamin lied. Boy, you sure know how to carry a grudge, don't you? If you want 
put your fatal four-way in the cage this Sunday, that's fine by me. It'll give me the chance to get my hands on all three of you, my scheming ex-partners, and a certain superstar who doesn't have the decency to accept a man's apology when it's offered. See you at Vengeance. All right, I'm fine with that, Sean. I'll see you there, my man. <laughs> I tried to explain you in the ring. I had nothing to do with it, but you decided to super kick me, all right? I know I said I wasn't going to join anyways. You probably got mad, but... You know, I'm the good guy here, not you, all right? <laughs> I'm having a nice day. But I'm also risking it all in a Fatal 4-Way cage match, where it could take six years. We'll see. What does WWE.com have to say about this? Board of Directors finally actually do something for once. Mick Foley ready for HBK Helms and Benjamin at Vengeance. Almost three weeks after Shawn Michaels attacked Mick Foley for a crime he did not commit, Mick Foley hopes to earn a measure of revenge against the Heartbreak Kid and his two ex-partners, Shelton Benjamin and Gregory Helms, in their fatal four-way steel cage match tonight at Vengeance. Michaels wanted to form a faction because he thought he had some wisdom to hand down the next generation, says Mick Foley. Well, tonight, I'm going to turn the teacher into the student and teach him a painful lesson in that steel cage. I understand why Mick Foley's angry, says Shawn Michaels. I'd be angry too, but I'd like to think that if someone made a genuine mistake like I did, I'd accept their apology like a man when it was offered and not continue to pout and hold a grudge like some spoiled kid, added the heartbreak kid. But those other two, Helms and Benjamin, ooh boy, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. They got it coming. That's true. They're the real bad guys. So it's pretty cool how it gives you three choices like that. So there'll be definitely, definitely be some stuff to cover in the alternate uh, stories video. All right, so yeah, this is escape only, and you can't use the door because it's multi-man. This might take forever. <laughs> if you like those longer videos, you might be in it for a treat. We'll see. I mean, cause I don't know. I, I don't know how this is gonna go. I really don't. I don't know if I'm more concerned with losing or the match taking 30 minutes. Sean fashion implodes, and I'm just here. The tag match would have been interesting too, though. I don't mean to let Shelton Benjamin off the hook here, but I'm quite frankly disgusted by the way Gregory Helms lied about an assault and attempted to frame someone for it. I expect better from our raw superstar. Oh, get off your high horse, JR. Helms had his reasons. He didn't want Shawn Michaels being distracted by a fourth member in their group. He did it because he wanted to learn from HBK. Well, I get the feeling he'll be learning plenty from the heartbreak kid here tonight inside this solid steel cage. And I don't think he's going to like what's under the learning tree. He's a liar. This man's a liar. <laughs> He was never at the medical facility, never got assaulted. Hold a Vince McMahon with a neck brace when he doesn't even need it. We will see how this goes for sure. This is going to be really unpredictable. 
boost this one of the most legendary and honorable superstars on the Raw roster. And he spared no effort to make things right once he realized he had made a mistake. Yeah, but Michaels is also a hot hit. That's exactly why he made the mistake in the first place. You'd think a superstar with his years of experience would see stuff like that coming by now. The icon might not have made the wisest decision in the heat of battle, but to his credit, he had tickets to make things right. Regardless, this bread is going to be settled in a steel cage here at Vengeance. Solid steel cage, brother. Yeah, all I knew for sure, I wasn't going to choose the one-on-one -on -one with HBK because I wanted the multi-man match. I was kind of torn between the tag match or the Fatal 4-Way. I thought the Fatal 4-Way would be the most chaotic one, so... Heartbreak Kid coming down from the learning tree. Dude, this is a situation where the multiplayer season mode would be so much fun. Imagine like four of us, like actual play like human players, each controlling a guy here. This would be a crazy match, dude. Inside the cage. Man, I want to do that series so bad. This man has had quite a month here on Raw. From false accusations to surprise attacks. But he's looking to settle the score here tonight at Vengeance in an unforgiving cage of solid steel. Yeah, how many can't wait to get his hands on Shawn Michaels, the man who hit him with that sweet chin music for absolutely no reason. We've been over that game. HBK had a legitimate reason. It's just that his attack was misguided, and Michaels made the attempt to apologize, but he wouldn't have any of it. So now it all comes down to a steel cage and a whole lot of pride. Well, he's ready to go, brother. Oh, Sean gets loading screen advantage. Oh, God. It's over, boys. <laughs> well, I mean... See, I mean, maybe this is an ultimate opportunist scenario. Like, imagine, like, you know, uh, Sean does a finisher on one guy. I do a finisher on the other. And then hard Irish whip Sean or something. So this is definitely doable. It's just going to be a little chaotic, I would say. All right. Watch out. He reversed it. Or if they do long animations like that. <laughs> And the sound steel. Always oh, going up top. <laughs> Want to attack everybody, brother? Or if I do long animations too, that's not gonna be good. Look at how long this leg lock is. <laughs> that's without the submission mini game. All right, Sean doing a sharp here. Let's calm down. Holy first man with the finisher. 40 seconds in, ready to go. I think I'm just going to store it, actually. Oh, boy. Look at him beating off the that liar, Gregory Helms. He's unstoppable. You can't ever count on these fans, JR. I think these superstars are getting some feedback from the okay. crowd, JR. Thank you, auto-targeting. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, that was just a goofy sequence for me. <laughs> I knew going to win this one, JR. Oh, really? Right, someone's getting thrown in the cage here. Oh my god. You know what's weird? Like, I have a split second to do a finisher, it says there. Like, does that actually work? Yeah, look, he's on the ground, but you can still do a finisher. That's bizarre. That's like advanced tech right there. That's a great way to fool, uh, fool a human player. I gotta remember that. Come straight from the WWE hey, Sean. Fans. I got the club. How about you? Yeah, but if they don't keep the fans happy, if, if, okay, Kyoto, please. <laughs> Kyoto's down. Why do we even need Kyoto in the ring if pin and uh, submissions don't uh, aren't accepted here? Oh, I get the top tier stomp from there. Let's go. Stomp a thon, brother. Right, Foley's gone wild here. I've been looking forward to this match all night, JR. I can't believe it's finally underway. This has been a hotly anticipated contest. And as far as I'm concerned, double team maneuvers! No question about Me and Sean that, working together. This is what could have been. It, that's for sure. And when it comes down to it, that's 
I mean, the tag cage matches are fun because both members get to escape. So, like, sometimes your computer opponent, like, just abandons you and then it's like two on one in the cage. It's pretty funny. Oh, Benjamin's gonna control the moves! I'm now in the yellow territory here. Kyoto's yelling at somebody. He's just showing up for the crowd now. He's wrestling the match his way. And I think it's going to pay off. I think Sean has got a finisher. Yep. You know, despite the fact that he spent a lot of his career on SmackDown and in WCW, they're taking every advantage. Oh, my God. All right, Sean's trying to steal one here. Imagine if I just ran out of stamina and Sean escaped. That would be so funny. All right, you know what? I'm gonna try to hit sweet shin music on Sean. I'm paying back the favor. Maybe I can be, get that sweet shin music. Oh no, he got on me! <laughs> oh. Foley's out. Oh, never mind. It's got off me like immediately. Yep. Damn, I'm in the lead here, uh, damage wise, I think. John, stop him. But it might as well be a mile when you're inside. He oh, come on. <laughs> I was gonna say, just grab him. It's so much easier than kicking the cage. Hey, Kyoto. Kyoto. Let's go. Double arm DDT! But the heartbreak kid's got more heart than anyone I've ever seen in this business. You know, JR, HBK might be a living legend and all. Alright, I don't know why Benjamin's down from doing that. Okay, I'm gonna hop off. Oh, we got combos. Okay, I'm gonna pull a Sean here and punch the cage instead. Okay, I think and maybe it's gonna be smart here to store up or get two finishers. Then I have a better chance of, you know, getting people. Or maybe this is my chance now. Foley's going up. I need that maximum movement. No! <laughs> Should've just hopped off. My god, Foley. Look at this, JR. Oh no! This is terrible. Oh god, Benjamin's going crazy here. Make double team moves. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Kyoto. The helm's fired up. He's got barbecue ribs though. Sean's doing long animations. What would make this really interesting is if we get one of those situations where two separate people are climbing at the same time. That's when it gets wild. Oh, I'm taking so much damage right now, though. What's the true good ending for this, then? Sean winning? Me winning? Probably not two of those blockheads, though. They were scheming, like Sean said. Well, from my perspective... You don't want to start climbing until you know you're oh, Helms, are you serious? He's right. <laughs> okay, a lot of finishers on the board here. This just got really interesting. Also, throwing people into corners together, that's another solid method. Mr. Sacco! <laughs> Mr. Sacco had to make an appearance in this match. Okay, Benjamin. Nope. Actually, I can probably just escape now. Whoa! <laughs> Foley's making a break for it. I'm escaping with the finisher, brother. Foley! Foley! Oh, Sean's a blockhead! Sean's a blockhead! <laughs> That's why you grapple, my man. See you later. Right in front of Sean. You had to watch me escape. Oh. Uh, that should have been much more crazy. He should have just pulled me down. See, that's where, it, like, four human players would be a much crazier match, you know? He's playing, like, that old-school SmackDown structure of punching the cage. And there you have it. Vengeance has been served. Yeah, Vengeance got served, and his opponents really got served. I don't think they'll be coming back for a second. Help. He promised that his opponents will learn a hard lesson here tonight in the cage, and that's exactly what happened. Well, Sean, all I gotta say is, have a nice day. Foley's out of here.
There you go, I believe that's gonna be in unless they have like a magazine article or something. Yes, we do. WWE Magazine. Torn. Severing the ties that bind. When Shawn Michaels agreed to form a faction with Gregory Helms and Shelton Benjamin, he saw it as a good way to pass along his years of experience in the WWE down to the next generation of superstars and draw the strength from their youthful passion. Instead, he found himself deceived into acting against his personal ethics in a misplaced show of loyalty, delivering sweet cheap music to Mick Foley under the mistaken impression that Mick Foley had attacked Helms. What Shelton Benjamin and Gregory Helms did, it was more than just a lie, says Michaels. They tricked me into violating my own moral code, a code that I live every aspect of my life by. I made a mistake, and trying to atone for it was my only priority. Michaels apologized to Mick Foley, but Mick Foley refused to accept, instead choosing to meet Michaels, Benjamin, and Helms in a fatal four-way steel cage match at Vengeance. And he won fair and square, says Michael. But I still think he had no reason to see me as an enemy. We both got set up by Benjamin and Helms, and we should have teamed up against them. But Helms and Benjamin didn't get away scot-free, according to Michael. He believes that they lost a valuable opportunity when their actions caused him to dissolve their faction. There was no way I was going to work with them after that, says HBK. And that's too bad. They might have thought that having Mick Foley in the group might have interfered with my ability to share with them what I've learned over the years. But let me tell you, whatever lessons I could have taught them would have been a lot less painful than the ones they're going to have to learn on their own now. Alright, well, there you go. Sean is trying to be a good guy, pass down his knowledge, gets thrown in his face, he gets tricked, and when he genuinely tries to reach out to Foley for an apology, I don't accept. I got who's the bad guy in this story maybe you could argue it any other way I don't know it's up to you let me know who the real bad guy in the story is but <laughs> there you go so that was the torn uh or setup storyline so was it torn set up well let me look it up but yeah that one was uh kind of fun I guess but I kind of kind of wish I played it or frame sorry not torn frame that was the name of the, the article so frame storyline that one's kind of fun um I, I kind of going back. I wish I played as like a like a lower tier superstar because like I kind of think it would kind of make a little bit more sense. But you know it's good to play fully. We only had one cutscene where he talked though, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So uh, we still got more alternate stories to go. So I'll see you in the next one.